Well, well, Gita, let's start with you. Um, so, as you're making this film, it was a, a, a six-year process. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, those two empty seats. Like, I, I, it's really hard to have a conversation with empty seats. I mean, if, if only there was somebody else from the film who could, you know, talk about it. That would be nice. But I don't know. I mean, Ravi's not here. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, there are two other people here. Oh really? Yeah, I don't know. They're not, they may not be that interesting, though. Yeah. Are there, you, do you want to come out? <laughs> we are the worst actors ever. <laughs> I feel like we kind of telegraphed that a little yeah. bit. Yeah. We got a full. We got a. We'll commit fully next. Well, now time. you know there's no acting in the documentary. <laughs> Uh, okay, so now we now we can actually start. Um, yeah, so so I guess you know, like we always like to start at the beginning. Um, the the film that you made before this one was was very different. Um, so maybe if you want to talk a little bit about sort of the transition from from the the film you were making before this to to something that was completely different. Uh, the film that I made before this was called Project Kashmir, and it's about the war zone of Kashmir. Uh, that's between India and Pakistan. And it started out as just something I was interested in. It felt like nobody knew what was going on in this war zone. And you know, I felt the need once I saw what was happening to document the war. And it on and off took about seven years to make. And in the process of making that film, it was through Sundance and PBS. What I learned is that everyone in this war zone, they all wanted the same thing, which was they wanted to find love, be in love, stay in love. All they talked about was love. They would send each other love poems and watch romantic films and listen to romantic music. And I think coming out of that experience with, you know, with that understanding of how precious such a simple and basic human need was, it made me more curious about love itself because we all want that. And Ravi, you know, we were on our family vacation after that and I was trying to regroup from that whole experience. And I had bought a camera wanting to learn how to use it. And if Ravi was here, he would say, I never learned how to use it. <laughs> they <always laughs> really glad that. he's not exactly. here. Really nice not to have him here. And, um, you know, I just, I, I heard Ravi saying, you know, Gita, like, what, do you realize how weird we are? Like, Patel's Mary Patel's, like, this is so weird. We should do something. You know, we should talk about it. And I, you know, he's like, we should make a documentary, like a Michael Moore documentary or a Morgan Spurlock documentary, like, you know, an expose about our own lives and, like, you know, how odd we are. And, like, you know, he was just so kind of troubled as if he had just looked at our lives from the outside. And I, you know, I think that's how this film for me started. I think I saw this mystery. Like, how, how does love work? How do you keep it? It's so complex and so difficult, even when you have it, right? And even between mothers and daughters and you know, spouses and siblings, like it's just, it's everything. And yet we haven't really spent as much time on it. And it affects everything else. I mean, being on that war zone, seeing how the way we deal with conflict and love in our own hearts and between you know, the people in our most intimate lives, it really did affect how we dealt between countries. Like it's scary how much you know, someone's personal ability to deal with conflict affected you know bigger things like nuclear war just how they made decisions and how they dealt with enemies so um so that's how it started and then the rest of it was just documenting this process and following you know our hearts of just you know everything you saw on screen the dirty the you know the bad filming everything it was so it was just us on a family vacation and we at some point just embraced it and we're like let's let's just go with it <laughs> 